Hello guys, today we're going to work on changing the bilge pump on the Bass Tender 11.3. This one's broken, we got to swap it out. Got the new style bilge pump. This is an Atwood Tsunami. This is an old Atwood. Two different style mounting brackets. I'm going to figure out how to get this one installed. So gonna go there we're gonna have to drill out the old let's get to it they don't give you anywhere to work in this thing So this one is riveted on there. I'm just breaking off the plastic. I'm gonna remount the new one. Just trying to get the old one off any way I can. So the old mounting bracket's off. I'm gonna reuse these holes to make a bracket. So now that I knocked out the rivets out of the hole, I'm gonna make a mounting bracket to be able to put the bilge. I might epoxy it down there, we'll see. All right, now we're gonna rig the new pump. Gonna strip the wires. Cut off. Yeah, Need that extra wire. Let's 
strip the new bilge pump wire. some bug connectors and hook this thing up. Take your brown wire to your brown wire. It's pretty simple. Trim that down. Make sure you have the right length of wire going in your butt connector so you don't have excess. So you don't have any excess wire sticking out. Got the brown wire connected, it's tight. Good. Now we're going to hook up the black wire. Trim down. And we got power. Let's test this motor. Let's test the bilge pump. It's working. So we got the new bilge pump running. Now these are heat shrink butt connectors. Let's get them all sealed up so they're watertight. We got those all sealed up. We need to take the hose off the old one. Take the old hose off. Slide it on the new one. So 
and it slides off and on we didn't have to take this clip off it was a pretty easy let's test the bilge pump again make sure it's working oh yeah So I decided I'm going to epoxy it to the bottom of the hole so you have to remove the housing. You just push this down, twist it, and the base will come off. I'm just going to epoxy it right there. Alright, I'm going to place the epoxy on the bottom of the base. I'm just going to put it all over the bottom. Got it coated at the bottom. I'm gonna place it where I want it. Right there. Push it down tight. And we'll let it sit. While the epoxy's drying, I'm gonna zip tie the wires down. So we got the bilge pump wires and the aerator wires. Well, the factory wire, they didn't cut it down, they left it super long, it's just in the way. I'm gonna put some butt connectors, cut out some of this wire and just make it cleaner. So let's do that. We don't need all this extra wire. So I'm gonna cut it out. It'll be black to black, brown to brown, right where I'm just cutting wire out. Just don't need all that wire in the way. So if you have this problem on your bass tender, you can just take out, just cut out some of that wire, reconnect it with a butt connector, and then you won't have all that excess wire in the way. I don't know why they didn't cut it down from the factory. Probably because it's just quicker to throw it in and get rolling. But I like my stuff to look clean. So let's try to clean this thing up. Pretty simple, black to black. Crimp it down. Brown to brown.
I've got time to do this because the epoxy's still drying, so. Let's make sure it works. Bilge pump. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to heat up the heat shrink. Give it that watertight seal. Gotta do the brown wire now. Have this 10 year old boat functioning like brand new soon. Wind's blowing. Ooh. Gotta wait. Wind always wants to blow when you're trying to heat something up. We'll get through it. Now both wires will be watered sealed. Good to go. Retest the bilge pump. Oh yeah, still running. Now we don't have all that extra wire. We can get this thing clean looking down here. Now we got all this excess wire gone, we can zip tie the wires, which will give it a clean look under the deck. Keep all these wires up out of the water. Good to go. It's all clean. Just waiting. Well, we're back. Epoxy's dry. It's all good to go. Let's put the bilge pump in. All the new bilge pumps in, ready to go. It's working. Let's go hit the water. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.